Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Klonoa games for the GBA. In Klonoa Emperor of Dreams, Klonoa and Hugh Pao are arrested for dreaming. Emperor Julius forbade people to dream and now Klonoa as a punishment needs to rid the empire of 5 monsters. Klonoa isn't your normal side scroller. It's an action puzzle side scroller. Klonoa has the ability to jump and float with his ears, and he also has a magic ring and Hupao's power to raise enemies above his head and throw them. Each of the game's 40 stages is an environmental puzzle full of platforms, spikes, doors, tricky jumps, and lots, lots of stuff to do. The enemies play an important role in the puzzle solving of Klonoa. For example, boomies let you destroy fragile walls, Mo moves help you to leap higher, and spikers can deflate other enemies. Rikuris change color when they're thrown at other enemies, which is useful for activating color switches. And not only enemies, but you can pick up individual blocks too. The purpose of the game is to find out how to use everything in the level to your advantage to pass that certain, certain section. You also get 6 difficult bosses and vehicular levels. In Klonoa 2, even if the game is similar in gameplay to the first one, it still distinguishes itself. First off, it has a new story. It has more levels, having 50 levels, while the first one had 40, and the content doesn't end here. You get more extra levels than in the first one, and more unlockables. And instead of snowboard levels, now you get surfboard levels. Klonoa Heroes Legend of the Star Medal is a Japan exclusive game. In this game the focus is more on combat than on puzzles. Characters have a red attack, a blue attack and a yellow one. And you need to attack enemies according to the colors. And you also unlock special attacks that clear the screen of enemies or well actually they damage more multiple enemies. In this game you play with three characters. Klonoa which uses a green sword, Guns that uses guns and Pango that uses bombs. Each one behaves different, and this is the charm of the game, the combat. It is tough, but still enjoyable. You upgrade each character's stats, buy items, like for example food for, to replenish your health, and you can switch between characters mid-level, so during gameplay. But an annoying thing is that when you want to select an item, you don't go in the menu screen. I mean, you don't pause the game. You can pause the game to select an item. And during combat, that can be bothersome, as you need to focus on selecting your item while the enemy attacks you. Oh, and level designs can get pretty complicated, and you don't get a map in the game. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram, or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I made. Thanks for watching.